What's up guys, Julian here today, I'm going to be showing you the secret to making really powerful, punchy, modern, hard techno kicks like this, 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 and these. To go along with this video, I just dropped a new sample pack called 25 Hard Techno Kicks Volume 1, the link is right in the top of the description. For just $10, you get these 25 kicks where you can see I've split them all into the individual layers. So not only do you get these really fat, punchy, hard techno kicks that you can just drop right into a track and make a really solid track right away, but you also get the individual bass and punch layers. So if you want, like, you can just take, like, this punch and then say, like, this bass. And you put them together. And there you go. You have a whole new kick. And it's always going to be really solid. Because each individual sample is really solid. So again, link is right in the top of the description. This is a really great way to not just support me if you guys have been enjoying these videos. But also support yourself. You know, there's not really a lot of good packs for these kinds of kicks out there. There's a lot of people who claim to know what they're doing. Or who claim to be making good kicks for the style. But it's not like this. Like, this is really like... Like, I've really studied these tracks, you know? Colin Kunstler, Possession, Alignment, and a lot of other more underground names as well. I've really studied what's going on and put just so much time into understanding these kicks. And so now, I've put together this really solid library for you guys to go and build your own tracks around. It also includes some bonus synth loops. As you can hear, it's super solid for this style. Plus, you get these free bonus Ableton racks as well. Three different ones that you can use to make these kinds of kicks and I'll show you a little bit about that in the video too. So yeah, link is on top of the description. Again guys, you get a really awesome sample pack plus it's gonna really help support me. It's a win-win for everybody. Definitely go grab that. If you've been enjoying these videos lately, I really don't make a whole lot off of YouTube. Like, you'd be surprised. But with these sample packs, I'm able to keep bringing guys new videos all the time, showing you stuff like this at a higher quality level than anybody else out there. Thank you so much for the support guys and let's dive in. So this is actually one of the kicks from the pack. So you can see we've got this split into our main kick. And then we have the bass layer. Now, something that you really want to keep in mind here is that you really just need to start with a solid kick, right? Like, everybody's so worried about, like, oh, how do you make the rumble? You know, how do you make that fat, distorted bass kick? Well, the truth is, like, you know, that doesn't really come until you have, like, a really good punch first, right? Like, you have to have a really solid kick because, like, let's say I just go and grab, like, some random kick, like. Right? Like, that's arguably not a good kick at all. So if we just drop that in, even if we have the really cool bass here. It doesn't matter. It's a terrible kick because that punch layer isn't right. Versus if we go back to the really good sample that I made. So I'm doing this to illustrate to you guys like, you know, a lot of times you'll see somebody like have that kind of bad kick sample and then say, oh, we can go process it later and make it fat with some compression or something. Don't do that to yourself. Focus first on making or getting a really, really solid kick sample. That sounds good with no processing. Also, you can see this is completely dry. And this actually just came from layering two different kicks and then just exporting it as one here. So there's really no like extra saturation or compression or anything like that. It's just a really good sample to start out with. Because again, if you don't have that, boom, boom, it's just not really going to work. And if you want to source for some good kick samples, link is at the top of the description. Anyway, so we've got that. And then we make the bass. And so the bass is made using that same kick. So this is actually a pretty simple sort of like techno rumble bass. I'm going to turn off all the effects and show you what's going on here. So we just have the kick. It's actually, you can see doing the exact same thing. It's just playing corner notes. And then we put it through some delay. So that's giving you like the rhythm. And then we have this audio effect rack. And there you go. So that's where the sound comes from. Essentially, you're going to take the kick, have it doing that little, like, just straight quarter notes, put it through some delay so you get the rhythm, 
and then you're just multi-man distorting it. That's what this is. You can see we're doing the highs. We're distorting the mids. And we're actually even distorting the lows a little bit with this bass amp. The reason why we do this is because if you're just trying to drop distortion on the whole thing, you're going to kind of end up with a fart, right? Like, it's not really going to sound like that kind of, like, nice, crunchy, textured sound you want. And the reason for that is that you kind of, you want to be doing, like, different things on each range, right? Like, the high end doesn't really need, like, the same thing that the low end needs. So this is the easy way to solve that issue. So again, yeah, we just got that. You can see it's just Ableton amp and then the pedal. So these guitar, like, effects for Ableton are actually really useful for these kinds of kicks. And then we're side chaining it into the main kick. And then I just have this. Now this is something really important as well. I've talked about this a little bit before, but basically we're just taking this and we're cutting out the low end. And we're not cutting out anything that you would really hear, right? You can't hear really, well, like, physically, we can't hear anything lower than 20 hertz. But really, you're not hearing much from, like, 20 to 30 hertz either. So we're cutting at 24 there. And then what happens is if you cut this, again, you're not really hearing that. Like that low end isn't missed. But what it does is if you leave that in, this can actually create like some mud in your track. And then when you go to master it, you'll have more kind of like low frequencies going into the limiter and the compressor. And it's going to get really messy. So this, just cut that out. Make sure that it's not going to be in the background of your mix. And yeah. There we go. So again, it's just using that same kick sample, doing the exact same thing, and then just a little bit of effects to kind of make it sound like a nice rumbly bass. And then on the group, the only effect that I would really do, I've shown you guys a lot of different stuff before where we're using like drum bus, saturation, compression. You actually don't really want that. Well, the only thing I would really do, and you don't even need this, is just this limiter here. So here's without it. You'll notice we're not clipping. We're not using this to fix some clipping. But when we turn it on, it's actually a very like clear way of boosting just kind of like the bass and the punch at the same time, and also gluing them together. And the key here is don't do too much, right? Like, if we start... Obviously, you can end up with a mess pretty quickly, but just a little bit of that. And that's really all you need. And again, you don't even need it. Like, without it, it should still sound really good. But then it just adds that little tiny... Like 10% there. And uh, yeah, so that is the basics of how to make a kick. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted to make it a little bit punchier is actually duplicate the main kick. And then I have this rack down here. And see what this does is it's actually like, so I'll kind of show you what's happening. So basically, it's just taking the mids and the highs, and then we're distorting them, and there's a short reverb, and then there's also a high pass on it. And so we're just kind of using this to create like an extra punch on top. So here's without it. Right, and so that's a really good way to create that extra punch in your kick. And really make it a bit fatter. And you can even go and just like shorten this sample with the sustain. Just make it really short. And yeah, so that is how you make the modern, fat, techno, hard techno kick. Thank you so much everybody. I really appreciate all the support. Definitely make sure to like this video as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said in the beginning, you can get 25 hard techno kicks that are all super strong, super powerful. Again, they all have individual layers of the bass and the punch. So you can go and work with them. Plus, you get the free bonus Ableton racks and the free bonus synth loop. So you literally get, like, this super solid resource to create these tracks. I really can't tell you guys how valuable this is. I wish there was something like this when I was starting. Again, these kicks are just super solid. And it's really going to help you take your tracks to the next level. You know, if you've been stuck, this is one of those things that I think could really help you get out of the slump. 
So, thank you so much for the support, guys. Every little bit counts. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Link is at the top of the description.